see me? Wait. Please, I need your help. I don't have much time. They want to erase me. They want to erase who I am. They're coming. Who defaced the pages of this manifesto? This is a disaster. This is poison. Who fed you this poison? It was the librarian, wasn't it? That snake. How did nobody see these being distributed? Cooper, get us some water. Sovereign water from the commissary. Go! Well, is it? Not the defaced manifesto. Well, is it? Tell me, or I'll tell them. But you are them. <gasps> I don't... I don't know what you're talking about. Child, where is it? Where's what? <sighs> I did not call for please rock. Our computer scrubbed the word poison. I have to check it out. It's not like that, Derringer. I can handle this precal myself. Look, I need to know if someone's poisoning the food and water supply in this place. I am talking about this, you idiot. Poison for the mind. It's just a manifesto. Not just. It's been contaminated. These are the words of Zager. Zager is dead. But I guess we could dig him up and shoot him again. Anything else, Murray? What? That's not enough? The girl's infected. Found reading contraband. Third offense. We are taking I her to I didn't read anything! I am Child Dillinger. You will put her in a confinement cell. There will be no recalibration without my authority. Fine. Just do it before the arrival. And watch your step. Watch your step. You ever shut up? Bring her a blanket. I don't want her freezing to death before tomorrow. Good evening, citizens of Metamorphosis. As we make our final preparations, we must be extra vigilant. Recent events have brought us the capture and killing of a man whose sinister, disgusting actions caused no small amount of grief. You know who I am referring to. I will not speak his name again. But even though he has been eliminated, other threats remain. Just tonight, another treasonist was attempting to infect the minds of our youngest and brightest with lies, masquerading as divine text. This Mimeo apostate will be dealt with in the same manner as the one who inspired him. Keep a watchful eye out for our Republic. My friends, 
difference. There's no way you can help me from there. You're just another pair of eyes watching me. Did you do that? Did you open the door? I don't know who you are or how you're doing this, but somehow you found a way into this place. Can you help me find a way out? Please do not be alarmed by the sound of my voice. My name's Cooper. I am communicating with you in text-to-speech because it is too risky for me to use my real voice. I returned the phone to this poor girl because she is in danger and I wish to help her. It seems you wish to help her too. I do not presume that you are as technically inclined as I am. So I will skip the occupational lingo and get directly to the point. The girl cannot see around corners. But you can. This phone appears to give you access to the facility's online network. It is called OmniView. If you enter OmniView, you can manually warp from one camera to another. Give it a try and scout ahead for her. I'm sure you can hack it in this place. That was a joke by the way. Sometimes my humor gets lost in translation. Sanchez. Yes, madam. Don't forget to give her the sodium thiopental injection. Yes, madam. Looks like one of my colleagues has left a pin code sitting out for everyone to see. I long for the days when basic common sense was a prerequisite for gainful employment. This is P0 brand pepper spray. You can equip this for the girl in OmniView. When you leave OmniView, you can tap on a guard to instruct her to attack. Each canister contains a single shot. It will temporarily disable guards, but be careful. Before long, they'll be back on patrol and angrier than ever. P0 here.
arrival proceeds as planned. We will not be swayed by cowardly acts of terror. Stricter punishments for traitors urged. I heard the powers that be are secretly hoping for some kind of an attack to justify all these new security measures. And while they would prefer it to be bloodless, I suspect they'll take anything. Perhaps they'll even carry it out themselves to ensure it happens before the arrival. spray here. Look, pepper spray. Got him. Zega killed in firefight with Prizrak. The depravity of this man was boundless. Best to remove the comments section for the online edition. And change shot dead by Prizrak to killed in firefight by Prizrak. This way, it suggests he was given a sporting chance. When the surveillance video of this day surfaces, and it will, it's going to require major surgery if they want it to look like justice. The Prizrak waged their campaign against Zagor from this very room. The following conversation was recorded two months ago. Listen, Prizrak, calling the man a menace doesn't give him the credit he deserves. Put another team on scrubbing through the footage. I will, sir. Though so far the camera network hasn't been terribly effective. Zagor's a human being, not some phantom. He casts a shadow like the rest of us. And I'm giving you more than you should need to find him now. Should that prove too difficult for you? No, sir. I understand. Watch your step. A fingerprint scan. It would be terrible if this got into the wrong hands. They would have a lot of power at their fingertips. Hint, hint. This is a battery charging station. Certain Omni abilities will drain the battery on the girl's phone. You'll see her battery life displayed in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Direct the girl to any recharging station to juice up. Hey there, you just found a data broker terminal. These are located throughout the facility. Any data you collect by scanning items in OmniView can be traded to the data broker in exchange for new Omni abilities. Omni abilities are valuable tools for gathering information and assuming control of the girl's environment. Welcome to my domain. What would you like? We 
have observed you spending a great deal of time in the library recently. Perhaps I should ask the librarian about these indiscretions. Did he give you the poisoned manifesto? If not him, child, then who? Speak! I have been put here to shepherd you. But you must accept that help, or we will both face the consequences. This email was sent more than a month ago. The precal in question, 933W, is still at large. It seems the librarian has been flagged for suspicion of distributing the poisoned manifestos. I hope the girl finds him before Derringer does. Explain this to you again. Mireille Prado can him and haul all she wants, but that is not in charge of security. I am. You transfer copies of the children's fingerprints to my secure server, or you can consider yourself reassigned to the graveyard shift. The girl has found one of the banned books. The overseer has banned many books inside of Metamorphosis. As the poor librarian upstairs once said, it is better to ban a book than to burn it. Talk about taking lemons and making lemonade. I wonder if there are more books like this one lying around. This is Quinn Derringer. We've had another instance of someone screwing with the generator over at the power station. I ordered that fingerprint reader installed a week ago. I want it done today, is that understood? Call me back when you get this. And I suggest you give me the news I want to hear. The security checkpoints in this facility are always evolving. Yesterday, pin codes were all the rage. Today, it's fingerprint and iris scans. Tomorrow, it will be blood. Not surprisingly, the Prizrak who wrote this is no longer with us.
FDR. There is an ideal we all live by, a pillar upon which all our collective hopes and aspirations are stacked, extending upwards towards a glorious future. We create symbols to give these ideals power, to remind us to look up, to look forward. Today I give you that symbol with an expectation of the greatness it will inspire. We must remain open to all things while still vigilant against the corruptive forces working around us. Let this symbol be our beacon through the long night and let it stand as a testimonial once we reach the light of the sun. See the door there? That's where I have to go. If I can get to the library, I can find the librarian. He can protect me. Hey, Clark. You can sleep in your bed. Come on. Derringer wants us to lock up the atrium. I had a dream I won the lottery. Yeah? What was the jackpot? Ten thousand. You gotta dream bigger than that if you wanna buy your way out of here. Now's our chance. Let's go through this door. Okay. Go ahead and hack it open. How's the sound? Dear Mr. Derringer, after mentioning this to you in passing, I wanted to send you this letter reminding you of my sincere desire for advancement. I believe I have a lot to offer, and in my current position, I will not be able to demonstrate my true potential. Plus, it's boring. Whenever you have time, I would love the opportunity to discuss my moving to the day shift at greater length. Sincerely, yada yada yada. How's that? What do we do now? Hello. It is Cooper again. You cannot open that door with your current version of the OmniView software. You will need to update your software at a daemon server. Upgrade to version 1.0 and you can open this door. Then, you can get the girl to the library. The nearest demon is in the commissary on the other side of the dorms. I will add this waypoint to your Omniview. Proceed with caution. It seems like you have a plan. What do we need to do? <laughs> <laughs> 